Nigeria versus Ghana. The toss will be taken. Good morning and welcome to Tafawa Valley Cricket Oval venue for the West Africa Trophy sponsored by Dafabet. This is match five, day three of this competition. And the game for your viewing pleasure this morning is Nigeria versus Ghana. The captain of Nigeria is here, Sylvester Okwe. And I also have the Ghanaian captain, Samson Kwasi Awe Awe. Our tournament referee is Tonye Tilminadi. While the third umpire for today is Ibrahim Kabia from Syria alone. My name is Olua Shewanji Dagba. We are set for the toss of the coin. There's a tail, and you're abstained. Head. Head is a call, and head of it. After missing two, Sulaiman Rushewe gets going. The first boundary of this Nigeria Ghana. He's always feisty. Finally, what happened yesterday? One day shot. Good shot by Daniel Ajoko, seems to be on fire. I told you guys, I saw him this morning at the net, hitting some balls. Questions and answers continue. Big shot this time, a few down there, will he get hold of it? Tries one-handed, misses it. Nico Yadimola pushes Daniel for two. Clips Lovely it down, wide edge, deep square leg, brilliant shot. Use of the pace there by Daniel Ajeku. Just when you miss them. Slog sweep from Daniel Ajeku. Not sticking around, not holding back. The aggressor today. Dabs it through, finds the gap. He's used to doing this on Nico Yademola. Brilliant job. Brilliant dab between slips and goalie. He picks up a boundary and that brings Nigeria's total. Those opportunities will come. Just to split seconds decisions. This time he flicks it. No man around midweek at region. More runs for Nigeria. And this time this one will go all the way. What an over. This is massive for Nigeria. Not what Ghana. Finally, they get the wicket of Daniel Ajekum to run and pay the price for the run. I told you that um, that's going to be for four runs. That's going to be for four. Kofi Bagabina locked him down in that penalty. Square leg. Gone. Gone. And Chesson has been caught. Has been caught on the rope by Godfrey himself. That, that, that looks like eventually Onikoi is gone. Bold and cut, and you can see Obed shaking his head. Better shot. One day. Four runs to back was a hit for Dan Ladi Isaac. Back to back, four runs, eight runs. And they will get. He comes down the line. He goes big. Fuda shaping up under it. Does he have it? Yes, yes. he does. And that's Dan Ladi perishing at long on. 
We're catching on those ones. He goes big this time in the air. The man coming in the dip. Brilliant piece of fielding. Catch. Not what the Nigerian team wants at the moment. 140 could easily become 120 or 110. They set the game up nicely in the middle overs. They have to finish strong. Absolutely. Again, another free base straight to the man. How do you explain this? How do you explain this? Golden Duck. That is what we spoke about. Golden free will Duck. Come, but you have to take advantage of them. Golden Duck. Is out. It's gone. Division 1 qualifiers. Unfortunately, it didn't turn out to be good for them. It goes big this time. Fielder's running around. And he it gets him. Godfred back away him. We are at this stage where they are dotting balls, but it's the reality that they are not finding joy. The reality. Again, he's gone. Hits it back to Obed Harvey. Second time in this innings. First one was on Nikola Ademola. Into the gap. Will they find the boundary? Yes! Yes! This is at this period. Everything now Nigeria will take. Everything Nigeria will take. He goes big this time. Any reason? Just shot there. The few that misjudged that one. Didn't make the best of it. It was there for the offer. That fielder, long off, long on came into play. Well, I think Peter Hall needs to think about it. He needs to understand the risks he's taking. He's gone big again. Is this really necessary? This time it's Godfrey under it and it takes the catch. And that's the end of the first innings. It's 129 all out in 19.3 overs. Easy, easy, not what Ghana needs at the moment. Oh, that was a good power shot on the ground. Well timed by Obed Ave for four rounds down the square leg area. Good shot. And that's why he was... So don't relent when you do that. Well delayed by Peter Aho. He has taken, gotten the gloves of the captain. And the captain is taking a walk. Something that we are. Next ball is facing. With the crane from the quarter pill end. And a good shot over the sleeves area for four runs. I tell you about this man, Rexford. He takes no prisoners when he's in there. Lovely shot by him. Four runs. The ball is in the air now. And it's being taken by Isaac Okpe. It's clear that that young man, Taiwo Mohamed. In the air. Great catch by Ademola Onikoi. And it's Kelvin who has gone. Obedave keeps losing. I mean, Ghana keeps losing wickets on one side. While And the ball has been playing into the air. Janadeko under that one and it's gone. It's one wicket again for Tyro Mohamed. The young man has been consistent in getting wicket by over. Looks like a run out. Would that be given? And out he goes. A quick hand off. Akere Sesele. Returning the ball back quickly to the... We know this man, we know him. When he goes, he goes big, but this one has hung. We are taking his Cecile at the long on area. Another weekend for the yellow green. Oh yeah, balls him. Balls him. He goes across. That one. This time around, it goes big. Man in the air. Go 
goes all the way. Missed opportunity. Four runs. They didn't communicate well enough. She goes big in the air. But Peter Hall there, amazing catch at the boundary. What a catch. And Kofi would have to walk this time. Ball is up again, and that's going to be a catch. And I told you about this young captain of the under 19 side. Really, one has taken another one, a similar one from the one he took from the point area in the game against the Rwandan side. This time around, he took this one in the mid wicket area, diving.